time to do race number 8 to 36 of the NASCAR Heat Evolution Championship West Play. I'm here at Bristol Motor Speedway run up of the Food City 500. Guys, three in a row started on the pole, by the way. How about that, by the way? I gotta say, back in Martinsville, we did not win the race because of a frustrated race, an upset race. Uh, last race, a redemption race in Texas. And now this race started on the pole once again, trying to go, let's see, trying to go back to back. We're about to find out. So let's go racing in the last great Coliseum. Here we go, guys. Racing in Bristol. Green flag run away here in the Food City 500. Another great race car once again. That's that's why three races in a row I had a fast race car. Off turn three and four. Looks like I'm going to lead the first lap here in Bristol. We got 34 laps to go. It's going to be a very long race, by the way. Three, three to go. So we got one way to go. I'm pretty sure uh, what's going to happen on fuel, by the way. Well, that's a caution. It's early the race right now because we probably know that um, hopefully very soon we'll come down pit road. So, so yeah, not right now, but it's early the race. So, yeah. I got to say, you know, back in the NASCAR Heat 4 West play I did, I dominated, by the way. Domin dominated the race. I won. And hopefully this time, once again, hopefully we can win Bristol. In NASCAR Heat Evolution Championship, uh, yeah, Championship West play. I gotta say, I remember way back in 2016, the race, uh, that race, Carl Edwards won the race, and Chase Elliott uh, finished in fourth when he was a rookie. I gotta say, that was a good race, by the way. I thought Chase Elliott was going to win that race for his first career win way back in 2016. But yeah, very great race. Chase Elliott did a great job finishing fourth. You know, he had some ups and downs in the in his rookie season, but he had a great race. Way back in the day, 2016, great memories. Now we're catching up to a lot of traffic right now. Who's in second right now? Ken Ziff. Matching like make like run out of fuel and go for the win. You imagine that with old tires, like that would be that would be a a deja vu. Yep, that traffic's gonna be the problem right now. But yeah, twenty six to go. Got a long way to go right now, so yeah. Oh boy. Oh, almost hit the wall. Got a little bit tight there, but that's okay. Ooh, alrighty. Got a amazing run. Uh, again, Danica Patrick, I lap down right now, yeah. 24 to go. Still there. All clear. There's Austin Dillon. Well, you guys know in the comments below who you guys think is going to win the Daytona 500 this month in February. Uh, I think my... Uh, my predictions, my three driver predictions for this year's Daytona 500, it, uh, Jimmy, uh, Chase Elliott, I I'm, think I'm going to pick, um, Jimmy Johnston, and then, um, if he, if he races in the Daytona 500, yeah, we'll see. And, uh, I think Ryan, I think Ryan, or Kyle Larson or Ryan Blaney, by the way, I gotta say, you know, Ryan Blaney has been so close so many times, by the way, winning the Daytona 500, so yeah. So, what do you guys know in the comments below who you guys think is going to win the Daytona 500? So, oh. Anyway, hit the back bumper of Tony Stewart. Trying to get him a lap down. There we go. 
I'm stuck on the outside. Oh, really? Why did he put me in the wall? Ryan Newman, he put me in the wall. Like, I had a huge run on the outside, and also, all of a sudden, he just put me in the wall. For no reason. Because I had a huge run. Got 19 to go right now. Hopefully I can try to make it on fuel. Unless if, the, uh, unless if the tire... The tire on the right side tire blows up. And that means uh, if I can make it onto the finish. Dude, that would be a, a deja vu. 18 to go. Car's been fast all day. That's number one. We had a fast race car. Unless the caution comes out. That means we had to come down pit road to get tires and fuel. So yeah. Like, 100% still praying for a caution right now. As the caution comes out, I might have a chance to win this race. Let's see. Sixteen to go, right? Yeah. Oh boy, going three wide. Oh my gosh, imagine a lap, everybody a lap down. This is just like back in NASCAR Heat 4, Kawermo West play. I led everybody a lap down, I won the race. This is just like all over again. Gotta say, I'm so good at Bristol, by the way. I think it's one of my favorite racetracks, yeah. Bristol Water Speedway is my favorite racetrack. We have 14 to go in Bristol. The biggest problem that I have to worry about is tires. That's what the problem. I'm not worried about fuel, but I can make it on fuel to the wind. So yeah. But the problem is the yeah. The problem is is tires is gonna be the biggest problem. Oh, keep hitting the back bumper, Joey Wagano. Twelve to go. I'm still praying for a caution. Yeah, one of the right side tires are gonna get fall falling apart. Eleven to go. Should I worry about fuel? No. Should I worry about tires? Yes. Right side tires. The right side of the front tires is, is gonna um not look be that would be looking good. Ten to go in Bristol. Oh man, almost I almost let everybody a lap down right now. This is just like back in NASCAR Heat for uh Career Boat West play. I let everybody a lap down, dominating this race, and I got the win. And now this time, once again. Almost though. Yeah, the, the biggest problem is, is the tires. That's going to be the biggest uh, problem. Should I? I had to take it easy on the tires. I don't know. I haven't, I'm trying my best, though. Eight to go. I'm still waiting for a caution right now. Seven to go. Oh man, third twelve. Oh man, twelve percent on the tires. Oh no, this is not good. I'm I'm praying for a caution right now. I'm, I'm I am a hundred percent praying for a caution. Six to go. Imagine the tire. Uh, imagine the tire goes flat. You know what? You know what I can do right now. If wherever the tires goes flat, uh, lost the tire. That means. I gotta have to race on the wall like a video game move, right? Hopefully I got a chance to go. Five to go in Bristol. Oh man, I am so worried about the tires right now. Oh man. This, I'm not gonna lie. You know, if, if ever if I lose a tire, you know what? It does not matter because I got a big weed. I, I got a big weed. I can have a chance to win this race. 
And I just blow a tire! Alright, you know what? All right, I just said before, race the wall. There you go. You know what? It does not matter because we had a big week. We got a big week right now. It's okay. Free to go. This is going to be a deja vu, by the way. This could be a deja vu because the tire, the, the tire's gone right now. You got three laps to go. I got to keep doing what I got to do. All right, come on. Two to go. We got two laps to go in Bristol. Oh, boy. Come on. Can we make this, guys? We're about to find out. This is going to be a deja vu with, with the tire going flat. And here we go. We're coming to the white flag. One lap to go in Bristol. Can I go back to back? We're about to find out. This is going to be in intense. I lost the tire. Look at this. Down the back straight away for the final time. I think I'm going to make it on fuel. No way. I am going to win with the tire going flat. And to the win we did. Yes. Look at this. No way. That has got to be one of the, the best race I have ever done on the NASCAR Heat Evolution West play. I lost the tire. I cannot believe we just won the race because the tire is, uh, is, um, tire, yeah, I gotta say, lost the tire, and yeah, we got the win. The tire works going, because uh, I, I would have been upset that I almost lost the race because the tire was going flat and lost, and all of a sudden, we just won the race. I cannot believe it. Dude, I gotta have to watch that Wii play, by the way. Dude, that was intense. All right, I'm going to try to find it, by the way. All right, so I want to watch on the final lap. All right, so I think it was like a couple of laps to go, by the way, since the tire, uh, I lost the tire, by the way. All right, there it is right there. So I cannot believe, I, I cannot believe I just won the race since the tire was going flat. Look at this. Car smoked out of my race car. Look at this. All right, so we're coming to the white flag. I thought I would have lost the race spotter because I would have been praying for a caution. Like, look at this! Look at this! I cannot believe I I actually won a race since the tire was the tire was going flat. I lost the tire. I cannot believe we just won the race. I cannot believe it. I have no word to say. That has got to be one of the deja vu race I have never seen. I look at this. How about that? Got the win. That was insane. That was awesome. Wow, I gotta believe. I can't I have no words to say right now. I cannot believe it. That is insane. So yeah, back to back wins and what fourth win of the NASCAR Heat for Career Mode West play. Oh no, that's three win yes, that's fourth win on the NASCAR Heat Evolution Career Mode uh, Championship West play. Wow, I 100% I have no word to say. Oh my gosh, that was one of the best races I have never seen. Imagine we go back to Bristol again. Hopefully I can do the same thing. That would be, that'd be amazing. So anyway, we're going to see what the next race is going to be. So we're right back. So the next race is going to be for race number 9, the 36, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be uh, Richmond and a National Raceway run-up of the Toyota Owners 400. So guys... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification, turn it on. If you guys are new on your ladies and gentlemen, we're on roll to 2,000 subscribers very soon. I love you all to buy my heart and don't forget to keep it red. Love you. Have a nice day. See you guys next time. Have an awesome day. See you guys soon. Keep it red, Jet. Have a great day.